Hey guys, this is Jess here from JustPreetChahal.org. Uh, the reason for this video is um, I just want to show you one cool technique. Um, uh, with sometimes we have uh, you know these pictures where uh, one of the keys on the keyboard actually is uh, set to a uh, different color than the other keys. Uh, I end up buying um, uh, an image, uh, this image from iStock Photo for uh, how much? I don't know, three or five dollars. I can't remember. But uh, I thought, um, uh, I, you know, I can actually save um, some money doing it. Uh, these sort of things for myself, and um, and uh, this uh, can actually benefit um, uh, you as well. Um, I'm not a Photoshop pro. I'm an um, uh, analyst programmer by trade, and um, uh, I'm active development for like uh, many projects, uh, web-based applications. But uh, this is not about uh, what I do. But let's uh, get on with this. I'm not claiming that this, the technique that I'm sh uh, going to show you is the only technique um, uh, to highlight a key uh, with a different color. There, there are possibilities. Uh, there are many possibilities because in Photoshop anything is possible. Uh, so um, I'll actually just uh, try to. Uh, um, make one key of different color than the other keys. So I'll uh, minimize this um, window. Okay, the keyboard uh, that we will be working with uh, is this keyboard. Now, the first thing that I want to um, tell you is that um, probably it's it's a good thing, um, um, you know, uh, to take keyboard uh, picture way um, the uh, the light. Uh, actually is uh, consistent throughout. So uh, if you know the light is um, uh, of a gradient form uh, then the effect uh, may not uh, the keyboard doesn't won't look like uh, say for example if you end up using um, flash or, or cam camera flash or you know uh, or take uh, uh, a keyboard picture or in improper light then um, uh, it's it, it's not gonna come up uh, really nice, and uh, probably another thing is because um, like say for example this keyboard, I'm not talking about you know my other, my other keyboard that's pretty dirty, but uh, the clean keys and clean keyboard will actually give you better results. That um, bottom line is that. Okay, let's get get on with that. So uh, to start with, uh, I will. Um, Choose uh, the uh, pen uh, tool. Um, okay, I can't. All right, the key that I'm wo will be working with is um, um, this blank key here. Um, or let's actually work with this shift key. So the first thing that I want to do is uh, to uh, make a selection. So this is uh, uh, just a demo, right? Uh, uh, and it, it will not be a pixel perfect thing uh, for me to uh, do it in such a short time. Um, so bottom line is you actually select the key rather than selecting the uh, black, I guess. Uh, so we'll just end up selecting that and uh, Almost done. All right, so that's done. Um, now um, I will actually create a new layer. All right, and um, probably I will um, um, fill that layer with the color that I want to. Um, Fill. Actually, before I do that, I'll actually um, go to the Paths tab here and make that path uh, uh, of a selection. Now, I think basically um, I ca I could have actually used uh, any of the um, like polygon lasso tool or magnetic lasso tool, um, but. Uh, pen tool is uh, pretty cool as well. Uh, this is this is how I generally I do it, but 
uh, you know, uh, the uh, lasso tool is there. It, it, it's going to do the same, pretty much the same thing. Um, but let's uh, fill that uh, this selection with uh, maybe red. All right. So that's done. Um, now I will um, deselect this layer of the selection and make uh, the layer mode uh, from normal to say hard light because we want uh, the hard pixel to um, uh, uh, merge with uh, this uh, the red I should merge with the bo um, bottom layer uh, all right that's pretty cool um, now if you if oh sorry uh, choose the mouse uh, um, wheel but anyway well again <laughs> sorry about that um, so if I um, zoom out that that's my red key now if you think that this uh, red key is a little bit too red for you then you just go select the old layer again and change the color um, maybe you, you would like to you know undo um, uh, the color fill and then uh, recolor it um, that, 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 that's, that would be nice too um, but uh, with, with regards to this I will now uh, merge these uh, layers and uh, possibly what I, I will do is uh, to uh, get that pen tool again and then make a uh, selection of that text all right so that's that's my uh, selection with the pen um, now I'll actually do the same thing make selection and then press shift and backspace Make sure that it's uh, content aware uh, set in, the, um, in this drop down and uh, mode everything normal and then press OK. Alright, the reason why I did, did that is um, um, as a Photoshop user, you would actually know that um, um, you can actually use stamp tool uh, too to get rid of that, but uh, you know, sometimes. Uh, there are some um, marks that that are left with uh, using those tools, but with uh, with uh, using this technique, I find it really uh, you know easy to um, erase that content. Um, the other thing that you can do here is uh, to you know like um, put up uh, uh, something uh, another text. Uh, my system is slow today. Mm, maybe something like say I key. Uh, it's a uh, iOS iPhone. Um, um, also, I would actually just name it as I key mm. and reduce the size uh, and put it here. Now you can actually control um, press the control key just to give that um, text a, a little bit of angle if you wish so, so you get the idea right so uh, I won't actually uh, go in much further than this um, but end of the day it will all depend upon your uh, selection position and uh, how you angle your text and uh, this, this is how you change uh, the key color uh, to something different um, and uh, you can actually do it with any key here uh, make sure that um, if you're using the, um, you know the color layer that you're gonna uh, it can be either soft color uh, hard color depending upon your um, uh, light exposure and um, the the way you want uh, um, you know uh, the, uh, depending upon the uh, bottom layer as well like if it's dark key then you may actually use some other layer mode uh, if it's a light key or the white key like this one and then over top uh, top 
um, uh, color is really you know uh, hard uh, say red blue black that sort of stuff then you would uh, definitely want to use um, like hard co uh, hard color I guess mode um, but that's pretty much it from me today um, uh, forgive me for my oohs and ahs in my speech um, it's pretty nervous when you do like live recording like this and you wanna hit uh, everything in one go <laughs> um, I would actually see you some other time with another cool tutorial um, um, or maybe one of my experiments you can say uh, for, for the time being just uh, I'll, I'll say goodbye uh, just keep supporting uh, just reach uh, thanks for your time and um, um, don't forget to like the video if you find it useful cheers